sign to the month of love to April. Let's see what is coming up for the hurt signs, the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What's in love for the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? Remember, this is a collective reading, hurt sign. And remember that um, using the link below, you can go pick up your individual um, reading um, for the extended, because all of these have extended reading for your individual signs. All right, it has been a very busy time. My excuses for the lateness, but um, it's going to be okay. I see past love is coming up for past life. Relationships are going to be coming up for you, Earth signs. And it uh, is going to be affecting the beautiful ladies. So I see you, beautiful Earth sign ladies. Past love is going to be returning in your life. This is the general. I'm showing the general readings. I see children are coming up. So some of you um, could be returning to a past love. Someone who you had kids with. I see some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. You young ladies, be careful of this person. You could be in a relationship with this person partner. They could be finding out. A gift is coming in. So if you wanted kids and you were having issues having kids, I see that this is going to be coming out. Soulmates are going to be meeting each other. So I see that soulmates are going to be coming in together. It's a gift from the universe for some of you that has been wanting to connect with your soulmate. The gift is coming in for the universe. I see fun times is coming up for you hurt sign people, especially in the last week in love. A lot of fun times is going to be coming up and you could be offered the ends of marriage. Married people, this month is looking good for you, especially people who are in soulmate relationship. I see that this month is going to be looking good for you guys, okay? So this is wonderful for you, heart sign. I don't see any dating is happening. However, this is transpiring. I see the energy of dating in the reverse. So, you know, however this is transpiring for you, heart sign people, um, it's not a month where you're going to be dating. It's as if you're just talking to the people who you know and the people who have you have been sharing your world with. There is no significant date, but I see that some of you are going to be reconnecting. Some of you who are in a relationship with soulmates, you are going to be getting married. I see you beautiful ladies. Be aware. Um, some of you beautiful ladies could be meeting someone in power. Whoever this person is, I see this person is in love with you. This person is your soulmate and you're not aware of this. And I see this person is going to do everything in order to connect with you guys. Okay, so be aware of this. So whatever is transpiring, be aware that there is someone in power that is really, really um, attracted to you. Someone who, this person have kids, but um, this person is really... Um, attracted to you guys okay so it is um a very positive month i see people who want to get pregnant it's going to be happening if you were open uh, to get pregnant i see that this is definitely going to be happening i see whatever the past life issues that some of you young beautiful ladies were going through i see that this is going to be resolving in this period so um let's see at past life so I see some of you, you need to heal the base chakra. Some of you know passion is going on. Some of you are not in relationship. Um, no passion is going on. You ha are dealing with past relationship that you have been hurt from. So I see that is coming up for some of you. I see some of you are trying to find inner strength in order to bond and get over the heartaches and hurt that has a transpire in your world. I see you beautiful queens, whatever is happening. I see some challenges time is coming up for some of you beautiful queens, especially people who are not in a relationship. It's going to be hard because you're going to be under the shutdown and you're going to become very, very lonely. I see the three of um, the three of cups share the love. Whatever is to inspire, share the love with your kids. Do not sit the whole time and work and don't look at your kids. 
um, I see that sharing the love I see some of you someone is going to be um, offering you their seed in order to create a child so that is good I see some of you need to heal your heart chakra however it is transpiring we're going to see who this heart chakra is going to be affecting who needs to heal their heart chakra we will see that um, this is just a general and we see detach I see some of you who are in a relationship with an Aquarian Gemini or a Libra person you need to be attached from the detached from this person or the situation it could be that you are getting divorced and you're having these legal issues and these people coming up I see rest and rejuvenation and I see if some of you rest and rejuvenate yourself I see that um, that you will be um, if you rest and juve rejuvenate yourself I see um, that you will um, get pregnant much easily because it's as if now you're resting so now your body is going to be realizing um, because of the rest period um, definitely you're going to get pregnant so whoever wanted to get pregnant it is a good month I see some of you are going to be meeting your soulmates are going to be coming in and I see pregnancy is going to be here so some of you will get pregnant who was trying and some of you are going to be meeting a soulmate I see the energy and I'm laughing because the energy of solar plex is coming up for a lot of people in this month of love whatever is transpiring the solar plex is coming up for a lot of people um, in this month and it's as if you need to take back your power from someone who you have given your power to however it is coming up however it is transpiring is as if some of you have given your power to someone and they want you to take your power back okay and uh, um, I see a new birth, a new birth of a new relationship, a new birth of a new love. I see unexpectedly the universe is going to be sending someone in your life and this person is going to be there for you in a very long time. Okay, so this is God. Then fun and love with a, a relationship, but there is some deceptiveness at play. So, um um this is coming up with uh, um that is affecting um marriages okay we have um deceptiveness um in your marriages okay i see trust trust in the universe trust um that someone you're seeing is your soulmate twin flame we're going to be seeing who that is affecting so however this comes up you need to trust that someone you are seeing um, at the moment um, it is your twin flame or soulmate I see seeks the truth some of you need to seek the truth about relationship and whatever is transpiring you need to seek the truth I see a lot of you are out there having fun but yet still you're communicating with people but you're trying to say um, I don't know what why seeking is coming up just like for everyone seek the truth if you're seeking seeking the truth about your marriage seeking a, the truth about people you are having fun with in whatever way you're having fun seek the truth because there is something um, about someone uh, about your husband or wife that you're not aware of okay oh I think seriously seriously Capric. I heard sign seriously okay oh okay so very very wonderful message is coming out and this is new vitality um especially for married people i see new vitality is going to be coming up in your relationship so married people i see some of the deceptiveness negative forces that was blocking your relationship holding your relationship back i see um the truth is going to be coming out i see a new sort of a healing is going to be coming in your relationship and this is good all right ladies and gentlemen first we are going to be looking at the taurus then at the virgo then at the capricorns so use the link below in order um to connect with uh, um whether you're a taurus virgo or a capricorn now for the extended of this reading remember you have to become a member to my website you can use the link here to become a member use the link here to subscribe and use the link here to notify here so however this is happening and transpiring you have to be aware 
and know the truth of what is happening and transparent in order um, to um, find out what is going on for yourself so let's go in and look at the Tauruses okay so Tauruses the love um, the love in April for you Tauruses is that I see you're going to be stabbed in the back whatever is transpiring I see your red chakra some of you are just focusing um, on more money than love and I see you're going to be stabbed in the back okay um, and you're going to be stabbed in the back if you're in a relationship um, let's see who you're going to be stabbed in the back this is someone from a past life that is going to be coming in you're finding strength to deal with this person because whoever this person is um, you are going to be stabbed in your back by this person and I see it is could have been someone um, that you are in a relationship with or what but I see that you are going to be stabbed in your back by this person is someone from a past life that is out there coming up and by this person stabbing you in your back so we're asking the angels of love who is going to stab the Tauruses in their backs okay so I see some of you Tauruses who are in relationship um, some of you who are in relationships uh, um, with the Capricorn um, another Taurus or another Aries is going to be stabbing you in your back so you gotta be aware of this this is there is some real deceptive play that is going on so some of you whoever you are that is in a relationship with a Capricorn um, yeah a Capricorn um a Taurus um and an Aries I see if this could be a third party that you were not aware of and um there is a definitely a third party um that you're going to be finding out this is going to be heartbreaks uh, pain and uh, a shock for you Tauruses um and it could be if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn you could be finding out that this uh, this um Capricorn has been seen um uh, or you're going to be divorcing this Capricorn because this Capricorn could be deciding to leave you Tauruses so it doesn't have to be it can another Taurus um, is um, stabbing you in your back or it could also be an Aries so you have to be aware of who and how this is transpiring in your world I see shared love is coming in whatever is transpiring I see a new beginning soulmates is going to be coming up and Tauruses I see you're sharing the love um, with a Leo or a cancer I see a new beginning soulmate connection partnership and agreement and contract is coming up for a Leo and a cancer however that is happening and transpiring I see this is going to be coming up show um, share the love is um, what is going to be transpiring so um, if you're in a relationship with a Leo or a cancer I see um, that um, you are going to be these are soulmate relationships so you could be in um, relationship um, I see a, a, a celebration where you're celebrating and overcoming a situation where you found out uh, um, that uh, Two people are soulmates it's, it's as if they created kids together and now um, you were seeing one of them and now you're realizing that uh, um, you are there is a new beginning and a new start that is coming up I see rest and uh, reconsider um, I see self dungeon self sagittarian um rest um tauruses some of you tauruses that is in a relationship with an aries i see you need to rest okay whoever this aries is and whatever is going on you need to rest and get away from this person take time off for yourself um this person is um your wife or husband i see some real deceptiveness at play so you have to be aware what is transpiring and what is happening because i see these deceptiveness and these deceptive play um that is transpiring so be aware of this now when we look at uh, some of you who are in a relationship with a capricorn you realize that this is a healthy relationship i see um 
it's as if this person like unexpectedly a Capricorn is going to show up in your life um, and this Capricorn um, you know together with another group of people where a scorpion is there a scorpion and um, um, a, a, a Libran so uh, some of you could be getting married to a, a, a scorpion or is married to a scorpion and I see that this marriage is growing healthier and healthier each and every day however this is happening and transpiring I see this marriage is really growing healthier and healthier each and every day however this uh, um, marriage is and however this situation is transpired I see that this uh, um, you are really really having some wonderful time um, people who are in relationship with the um, Capricorns people who are married to the Capricorns I see that this is just a perfect time for you and I see people who are married to scorpions it is a wonderful time as we look at seek the truth I see a lot of you are going in and seeking the truth about an Aquarians and a cancer you want to know the truth who are these people it's as if it could be that you find out that an Aquarian and a cancer has been very very deceptive okay seek the truth because these people are um you know they could be playing you Tauruses so whatever is transpiring I see seek the truth the seven of the swords is deceptiveness so some of you could be in a relationship or some of you could be engaged um, to a, an Aquarius or a cancer or and you are finding out that these two have been seen each have seen each other behind your back so if you're in a relationship with an Aquarius or a cancer whatever is happening there is some real deceptiveness that is going on between um because it's as if you're engaged to one of these person um because it's an engagement ring so some of you could be engaged um to um an Aquarius because that is the energy of the Aquarius and this person is being very deceptive so um if you're in, engaged to this person this person is playing you like the fiddle this person is having a lot of uh, outside experience with other people and they're like playing you for a fiddle so i see healthy relationships i see um a healthy relationship is where a new beginning a new start is going to be coming in I see soulmates relationships that is going to be growing and growing and, and um, creating wonderful energies um, people who are married and have kids I see a happy life a happy family life this is a uh, really good but I see some of you if you're in a relationship with an Aries um, or you have met an Aries I see you're going to be keeping off this person because you realize that this person is a little bit too much and like this person just really wants to just take over your life in however way and I see you're really going to be keeping off this person from you however way just is transpiring for you Taurus is this is something that you need to realize that um, an Aries uh, um, you need to like or if it's another Taurus who you are in a relationship with I see um, that you are going to be finding out what exactly that this person needs too much of your time and you're going to be keeping them at harm's length so however this is coming up and transpiring um, Taurus is it is um, really a month of love and if I didn't um, say um, the this the the um, zodiac sign of your partner um it is okay but um married people um it's it, it's it's looking as a good month people who are in soulmate relationship it is going to be a good month because i see a lot of happiness and joy especially with the connection sharing love with twin flame and soulmate a lot of happiness and joy there is twice the soulmate that is coming up for you um Tauruses okay so I'm leaving it there so um Tauruses enjoy the uh, month of love for you guys and let's see what is coming out for the Virgos so Virgos I see um some of you Virgos are um um you're thinking about the past life however that is transpiring you younger ladies um you're thinking about a past life whatever is transpiring and happening I see some of you Virgos thinking about a past life 
this is coming up and it is a past life where you Virgos were chasing a scorpion some of you were chasing a, a Taurus and some of you were chasing um, a, um, a, um, a, a Sagittarius and this is good because I see that the chasing time is over and you have gotten these people so it was as if for some time you were chasing after these people and finally they're going to be saying okay let's uh, see where this is going to be going so this is really good because you're going to be strengthening the bonds between these people the scorpion um, the Taurus and the um, Sagittarian so however this is coming up however this is transpiring I see you really strengthening the bond between these people that you're in relationship because it's as if you Virgos were chasing these people for a time and now they're saying okay let's see um, where this is going to be going so some of you uh, Virgos it could be you I see a transformation girl with a snake I see transformation is coming up if you're in relationship with a scorpion or a Taurus I see transformation is coming up so if some of you had a child I see divorce and you are letting go of a Taurus or a scorpion so Virgos whatever is transpiring I see finally you're healing your heart chakra and releasing yourself from your child mother or father I see a divorce a separation I see the lawyers is here and you are going to be a um, healing your heart chakra um, against these people and whatever that has to inspire you're definitely going to be healing your heart chakra with this person because you're letting go of this person Virgos it is a good month in love because you Virgos are going to be meeting your your soulmate and I see unexpectedly it's as if you Virgos has been calling up for your soulmate I see this um, soulmate is going to be coming in this is wonderful and this is good because whoever this person is that you're going to be meeting or you're welcoming or you're opening your heart to or you're um, getting together with is the right person it could be a Sagittarius or a Libran okay and you're going to be happy with this person whatever is to inspire I see happiness and joy you're going to be very very happy with this person because you're going to be realizing that you know um this person has the key to my heart so really Virgos this is good because what you're trans what, what you're seeing happening here is that you're going to be finding out that these Virgo uh, or this Sagittarian or this Libran has the key to your heart and this is going to be wonderful and very very positive because um, this is where you're going to be feeling as if this is where I belong this is the person this is the love that I've been looking for and I think that it opens the door to you because you have been searching for this love for a very long time and it's as if the universe said okay I am going to be bringing you the love of your life in this month and this is going to be good so Virgos you're winning in whatever way is transpiring you're definitely definitely winning then I see the energy of uh, the master the master is uh, the energy of uh, deceptiveness and I see the Phoenix rising from the ashes and I see um, rekindling renewed transformation and growth so a, a, a marriage that was on the rocks with a soulmate is going to be um, yield and this is good so Virgo whatever that was happening and transpire you were in a soulmate relationship or a marriage or you were married to your soulmate and there was some deceptiveness there was um, the devil the interference of negative flow of energy and now it's going to be healing because I see um, an Aries is going to be leaving a cancer and uh, however this these two people affect your life whether you were with a cancer and a Aries was intervening or you were with an Aries and a cancer but if it's your soulmate it's definitely the cancer okay however this Aries is is the, the devil itself and I see um, this transition is going to be coming in it is the devil itself and I see this fire sign person has been using negative forces in order to intervene in your marriage or relationship and I see 
that it's going to come to an end because um, it's as if the universe is moving away this person. So it is the phoenix rising from the hashes for, because of you. Virgos has been going through some issues with your marriage and your soulmate relationship. And it was because um, a fire sign, a, a Aries, was uh, um, intervening in your relationship with this person this person could have been a cancer who you were in a marriage and a soulmate relationship and this Aries stood in between you and uh, your marriage and you and your partner and I see this is coming out seeking the truth I see some of you um, trying to find out uh, seeking the truth um, if you're married to a Capricorn um, you're seeking the truth to find out, you know, uh, if this person dating someone else, is this person seeing someone else? And I see a lot of you is looking for marriage uh, material and you're looking at uh, the Capricorn and the Taurus. So if you are looking for marriage material, um, if you're looking for people to date, dating, a um, Capricorn and a Taurus is the best for you Virgos okay so I see a lot of Virgos is out there looking for new date new per people to get married to people to have fun with and uh, um, they are showing up uh, and uh, they're saying it is better for you especially a lot of you Virgos want to get married and they're showing the Capricorns and the Taurus uh, that is uh, the direction you should go in that is definitely the direction you should go in so be aware of this and be aware of what is happening and transpiring so wonderful alignment of energies so um this is good this is positive um positive alignment of energy whatever the deceptiveness is that was plain whatever that was transpiring whatever that is happening I see truths are going to be coming out and this is good because I see that this is really not a bad month in love for you Virgos to be honest it is really not a bad month for you guys whatever is happening and transpire I see truths are coming out and whatever the deceptiveness and the situation that was at play I see truths are coming out and uh, um, the best um, partners to Zook is a Capricorn and a Taurus so Thank you so much. Um, we are going to be moving on and looking at the Capricorns. All right, Capricorns, I see you have chat, especially you beautiful women are having some uh, challenges. Um, and I see the challenges is because a Leo, um, if you, a Leo is attracted to you or a Libran, a Leo or a Libran is attracted to you. And you're like, please, not right now. I just don't want to deal with you. So whatever is happening, you beautiful ladies, I see a Leo and a um, a Leo or a Libran uh, is attracted to you. A whole lot of challenges is happening. And you're saying, no, not right now. I don't want to deal with this. No, um, not right now. So whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, you're saying, no, not right now. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with these people. Whatever is happening and whatever is tra transpiring, I see the lies and the deceptiveness that has been transpiring. So it's like, yeah, no, not today. Um, this is not what I want to deal with. So I don't know whatever is transpired, but I see you Capricorns are saying these could be people that you're divorcing. Either you could be divorcing a Leo or a um a Leo or a Libran. You're like, no, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Then I see the energy of divorce. Some of you are dealing with a some of you are divorcing or letting go of relationships. Some of you are ending relationship with a um a Sagittarius, some of you are ending relationship with a Libran, some of you are ending relationship with a Pisces. I see you're letting go of a relationship. Whatever is transpiring, I see you're divorcing and letting go of a relationship. Whatever the deceptiveness that was at play, I see you stand back and you decide no more. Um, so you could be in a relationship, Capricorns, with a um, a Sagittarius, um, a Libran, 
or a Pisces and I see you're saying no no more you're letting go of this I see you're changing the way you see these people and you realize that these people are very deceptive and you're walking away and sending away and walking away from the deceptiveness that has at play some of you are in a relationship with a soulmate I see you're taking back your power I see you were obsessive and controlling and you were blocked because your solar plex chakra wasn't clear and I see that now it is um, an explosive it becomes very explosive and it could be with a, um, an Aquarian or a Taurus so some of you could have been in um, a relationship with an Aquarius or a Taurus however this was happening and transpiring with the energy of the solar plex chakra and whatever the, de the deceptiveness that there was and whatever that was transpiring and I see now that um, you're stepping back and you're taking back your power so this could have been a relationship with a, um, an Aquarius uh, or, or Aries that was trying to overgone you in whatever way and I see you step back and you're saying no this is it no I'm not doing this I'm not um, playing this um, game anymore I'm taking back my power it's good I don't need this relationship I see that you are just going to ooh, this is beautiful so I see trust in your union your twin flame union whatever is happening and transpire trust in the person that your twin flame some of you Capricorns are in a twin flame relationship and I see um the twin flame relationship is with a pisces and some of you is with a taurus and i see trust in this person and trust in this union because you're going to be okay whatever the situation that was transpiring whoever that was inveigling and uh, um harassing you i see you you um capricorns that is in soulmates and twin flame relationships trust in the union if you're with a Pisces or a Taurus trust in this union because it was meant to be okay so whatever the effect and whatever is transpiring and whatever is going on and whatever is transpiring you get to trust in this union because this is a union that was created by the universe trust in not in yourself not uh, trust in yourself not in the other person but trust in the connection between you and this person because they were meant to be in your life so if you have um soulmate or twin flame to a pisces or a taurus do not get out of this relationship it was meant to be um even though there are people and situation that is intervening in your relationship at this time i need you to trust in um, the union whether you are married to them whether you're just in relationship with them or whether you're married to them trust in this union because you're going to be finding out the truth that the you were meant to be in this union if you had twin flame or soul flame, soul flame relationship and there was difficulty I see a new vitality is going to be coming in I see some of you progress is going to be coming in your relationship your relationship is going to be healed so let's say you were married or you're married or you're in a twin flame relationship a soulmate relationship and I see that there was obstacles other people were intervening um, if you're in a relationship with uh, um, a, or a marriage with a, a, a Sagittarius or a Taurus I see outside influence where other people were intervening and I see you're going to be trusting in the universe and understanding um, that theirs is going to be ill whatever the issue is and the situation is it is definitely going to be healed however you have been dealing with the situation I see it is definitely going to be healed whatever the marriage is whatever the issues in the marriage was this someone from another um, cultural background however this is coming up I see an Elin is going to be coming back in your relationship so embrace this month 
and trust in the universe that the universe especially for people in twin flame and soul mate relationship trust in the universe that these people are in your life for a reason do not push against the flow of what is transpired because you are going to be finding out that these people were in your life for a reason whatever is transpired i see some of you taking back your power away from a, a water a, um, a to, um an aquarius and an aries who have uh, deceptively have done some deceptiveness and i see this is um going to be happening and transpiring where i see the energy of neptune whatever the deceptiveness that and outside forces that was affecting your marriage or relationship i see that this is going to be him and you're going to be having balance i love you guys i'm saying namaste until next time